a new day, a new experiment, and by request, we have to test if the power supply is a bad influence about the booting time, you know, how long it takes until TC Helicon is ready and up to do the work, you know. So uh, let me start with my uh, power supply. You know, that's the usually power supply. I'm using this one on daily basis. It's not original, but the same specification like the original one. I found this quieter and this is 12 volts with 1.5 amps. It's a switching power supply, pretty noisy, but it's working. So before anything else, I told you before, be sure that the power supply is with the right polarity and that means plus outside. And let's check the voltage. We have 12.28 volts. Okay, so let me call this original power supply, okay? Let me get my phone ready. I'm ready to have this guy in. And there we are. So it took like seven seconds once again. Until we see the first preset. That's it. Right, seven seconds. Seven seconds with the, let's call it original power supply. As you can see here, I have my power supply on 12 volts. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Let me check for the, like I said before, like for the polarity. It's very, very important. So we should have. Oh, perfect. Plus is going outside. 12 volts, 12 point, oh, let me have exactly like the other guy, 12.18 volts. Okay, let's get this ready. Okay, no. No. It's not good. Obviously, we need more amps here. Doesn't take too much power. Oh, not at all. Hmm. Okay, so I'm ready. I'm starting the power supply, same with the timer. Same story, seven seconds. TC Helicon is taking only 250 milliamps. Look here, it's nothing, it's nothing. So one amp power supply will do the job without problems. Once again, check the polarity. Now, let's have another experiment. I'm going down to, let's say 10 volts. Is it running with 10 volts? Ready? And let's go. Seven seconds, no problem with that. 10 volts, let's go down to nine volts. Okay. <laughs> it's running with nine volts without any problem. Okay. A little bit more current, 0 0.28. You see? Now, let me have 8 volts and go. Oh, 
amazing. Seven seconds, same story, eight volts. Let's see if we go down to seven. It's still running? Yes, it's still running. Seven volts. Are you kidding me? Okay, go. Seven seconds, no problem of booting. Let's go down to five volts. I'm not, sh I'm sure it's not working anymore. Okay, let's go. Seven seconds and it's working to five volts. Look there. 0 0.36 amps 360 milliamps so people i can say for sure the power supply it's not interfere with the booting time at least the voltages okay let's go up to 12 volts okay and let me limit the power supply to 180 let's see how how okay 130 milliamps that's not enough for for the machine to boot 150 milliamps not enough so now we have the machine stopped at 180 let's see wow okay it's struggling to boot oh no Come on, come on, come on. Now it's very clear. It's not booting. Let's raise the current a little bit. Okay. Let's try again. Yes. seven seconds okay so this is very clear that can be a problem so the power supply it's not delivering enough current if it's not enough current it's not taking longer to boot it's the same segments like seven seconds doesn't matter voltage from 5 volts to 12 volts probably it's working higher than than 12 volts i don't want to do that experiment i'm pretty sure there is a buck or a boost converter something uh, in fact if 12 and it's running with 5 there is a buck converter so i'm pretty sure it will work with 15 volts without problem but if they say 12 let's use 12 volts okay the voltage doesn't interfere with the booting segments the amps the current yes but with the current it's a very simple uh, syntagm you know it's on or off so it doesn't take longer time to boot you know doesn't interfere with that so if you have a longer boot segments that's something about the the i don't know maybe the memory try to to have a new firmware it's nothing to do with the power supply the power supply you know it's very simple it's working or not working or let's say if i'm getting down to let me go like that 250 i'm using this one to count the current here okay i'm limiting it 200 you see it's not enough power for the screen six seven yeah same story so okay let me take this out and let's see my power supply it's at uh we can test that like this in short zero 31 amps now it's a 12 volt with let me have this one 
with 180 milliamps and let me plug this guy back in to see if it's working the amp meter here is not very accurate so not enough current obviously well it's not booting we don't have enough current so we need at least now we are 210 okay so now it's telling us that the power supply is wrong Two hundred and thirty milliamps, and we got power. Okay, so people, that's it for today. It's very clear: the power supply can't affect the booting segments. It's something else there, related to memories, related to patches. Uh, I really don't know. Uh, try to upgrade the firmware. A power supply, it should be at least five hundred milliamps for this guy. Twelve volts to have a proper working and i hope i answered your questions see you soon if some other stuff's about tc helicon please like and comment and subscribe of course to my channel it helps me a lot if there is uh, if there are any question uh, write them down i'll be glad to answer and until next time be creative and don't forget have fun bye bye Thank <laughs> you.